A really cool new feature that we've added in 4.0 is also the ability to dual stream uh, from RTSP sources. Um, so when might this be useful? Um, if you've taken over a third-party DVR, like a Hike Vision DVR or a Dahuat DVR, and you want to keep the, uh, the hardware itself, because uh, maybe it's connected to some analog cameras, um, for whatever reason, you want to basically stream the data being captured by a third-party device or system uh, into NX Witness, but you want to keep dual streaming and adaptive scaling capabilities in NX Witness, uh, then you'll want to add two uh, streams for RTSP, a high-res stream uh, and a low-res stream. So to emulate that today, I'm going to show you how to do it with a, a Hanwha camera, which is able to serve up many different streams. Um, so if I look at my Hanwha camera here, go to camera settings, you can see underneath the information for cameras, you can see the RTSP, the primary and the, and the secondary streams for RTSP coming from this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the primary stream. I'm going to right click on my server, go to add device, I'm going to put in that stream. Um, some RTSP streams are public. Some of them require a login. This one requires a login, obviously. I'm going to press search. You can see the RTSP stream has been found, just like in the past. So I'm going to go with uh, Add Device. Um, and you'll see it pop up here in the tree here in a second, uh, once it's been added. should take a second, but not too long. Unless the demo god don't like me. There it is. So you can see now I've got an RTSP stream coming in from that camera right outside my office. Okay. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to click on that device, right? And I want to go to Edit Streams. And you can see I've got a primary stream now. And I want to add a secondary stream. So if I go back to that camera, let me cancel out of this real fast. Grab the secondary stream, go back to that camera, go to Edit Streams and add in my secondary stream profile 5 and press OK, press apply and now you can see when I go to this camera when I look at the high res stream I've got 2560 by 1920 and when I force it to low res then it jumps down to 640 by 480 so what I've done is essentially created a dual streaming uh, IP camera um, granted it's from an existing IP camera but you guys can do the same thing uh, with uh, third-party DVRs or third-party uh, video sources. So the reason we do this, again, is to keep adaptive scaling and, and the dual streaming technology core to the platform. So when you've got two streams from a camera, we'll do adaptive scaling. So if you don't have enough CPU or your network is lagging and you're dropping frames, we'll switch to the low-res stream. Same thing for mobile viewing. You'll be able to switch. Uh, you'll be able to get much lower latency video because it'll show you the low-res stream first. If you need to zoom in, it'll, it'll switch over to the high-res stream. Uh, core part of NX Witness VMS. But this is a dual RTSP stream feature uh, new in version 4.0.